the STEM Gang! Eric, it sure was nice of you to invite us on this cruise. Thank the National Marine Educators Association. They awarded the prize. But you won first prize! And the all-you-can-eat seafood that goes with it! I'm looking forward to hiking the trails. I can't wait to explore the tide pools. Always the scientist, aren't you, Sora? All aboard! All aboard! What's our first stop? The guidebook they gave me says five makes one island. Five makes one. Sounds like a puzzle. Let's get lunch. I'm starving and I'm dying to check out the buffet. Look. A dolphin. That settles it. I'm having a tuna fish sandwich. Oh, we're there. there. Five makes one. Here we come. The guidebook was right. Five islands. All connected into one. You know, it reminds me of my oceanography project. Your five cakes representing one ocean. Pure coincidence. Coincidence or not. I'm hungry. All aboard! I still think there's something puzzling about it. That was the best tuna sandwich I've ever eaten. Two tuna sandwiches. I hope it was sustainable tuna. What's next? It says shape-shifting island. I wonder what that could mean. the most amazing experience of my life. You were really carving up those waves, dude. You know what else was being carved? Those rocks. I figured it out. Shapeshifting Island is named for the ever-changing shoreline. Due to the waves. Some very big waves. Don't forget the corals. Of course. They build up the land. We just learned about that. And here I thought we were going on a cruise to get away from it all. All aboard! Time to eat! I'm famished! I still think there's something fishy about this cruise. What did you say is the name of this island? One-Eyed Beast Island. One-Eyed Beast. What do you think that means? I don't know. But I have a feeling we're about to find out. No, no. I think I'm gonna be sick! That was some hurricane! The One-Eyed Beast! Exactly. Just like the guidebook predicted. Eric, just where did you get that guidebook? The prize committee gave it to me. Aha! Uh -huh. What does that mean, Tommy? I don't know. I just figure there has to be an aha uh -huh in there somewhere. I got it! That's not a guidebook. It's an ocean literacy treasure hunt. Think about it. What was the first island we visited? Five makes one island. Right. And what do we know about the five oceans? I found it! The Earth has one big ocean with many features. You have notes? I have a big exam when we get back. It's the first principle of ocean literacy. Then what about shape-shifting island? Remember the rocks? And the coral reefs? The second principle of ocean literacy. The ocean and its life shape Earth's features. Oh my gosh! The storm! The one-eyed beast! Are you telling me? The ocean influences our weather and climate. The third principle. I can't believe they tricked us. More like nudged us to get more out of this trip than we might have otherwise. I think it makes it extra fun. All I want to know is, what kind of seafood do they serve on Paradise Island? Welcome to Paradise Island. Can you guess which principle these sand castles represent? The ocean is made of sand? A person's home is their castle? Castles made of sand fall in the sea eventually? Good one, Michelle. Of course we know. The, the ocean, ocean makes, makes Earth habitable. habitable. Unreal. Now you know why they call it Candy Island. It's the most colorful and diverse reef I've ever seen. 
As Principle 5 says, the ocean supports a great diversity of life and ecosystems. Jason, you're turning into an ocean scientist. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you realize how much closer we've become to the ocean. I think there's another ocean literacy principle about to be revealed. The ocean and humans are totally interconnected. But it's more than just having fun on a cruise ship. You're so right, Eric. The ocean deserves our protection. Too much trash. Too much fishing. Too many greenhouse gases. They all threaten the ocean's health. The ocean needs our protection, now more than ever. A wise man once said we can't protect what we don't understand. Which must be why the last page of the guidebook is blank. That's brilliant. The final principle says the ocean is largely unexplored. Let me see that. Eric, I'm not sure exploring seafood restaurants is what the prize committee had in mind when they rented these e-bikes for us. Why not? Exploring our connection to the ocean celebrates Principle 6. And you know, Michelle, the seafood restaurants along this stretch of beach are largely unexplored. Principle 7. The ocean does support a diversity of seafood. Principle 5. I guess seafood does make Earth habitable. Principle 4. That settles it then. Are you ready, STEM gang? To, to the, the abyss, abyss and, and beyond! beyond.